what is going on guys welcome back to another video here we're going to be trying to film on the iphone today because my camera mic is completely shot I and mean, i'm waiting for a new one to come in but we're going to give this a shot see let me know if you guys like this so we've got a couple of things for the third gen we're going to get to working on and we might even do something on rosine today but let's get this thrown into the back of rosine we've got an intake filter for the third gen and some new fog lights. So I did tell you guys that I already pressure washed that intake that was under the hood. I did that just for the rest of the day because we had to do a little bit more driving and filming, but I actually bought a new air intake for this thing. Slight problem, that is a five inch inlet for that intake. This is a four that I ordered, my bad. Did not realize that it was a five inch intake setup, but you know what could use a new intake, not that it needs it but it could use it the ford the ford could use a new air filter it probably doesn't need 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 one right now but let's swap it out now i don't know if this thing being a little smaller is a bad thing or some kind of a problem but the filter's clean should make a difference i would think so the next thing i was actually going to work on with this third gen was the fog light setup. I'm gonna close the hood here because we don't need it open anymore, but we are getting the grill all repaint matched so it doesn't look so spray bombish style with the grill and the door handles and stuff. But I was gonna change out the fog lights. In some situations, you might think the fog lights really aren't that big of a deal. It's like, you know, use them very often, you know, I mean, it's not the most important thing on the truck, but these fog lights are very ugly i mean they look like they've never ever been updated i would just like to have a nice bright matching set of fog lights on this truck so miguel's gonna be you know having to paint match the whole bumper he's gonna be probably repainting the bumper that uh was already white but he's probably gonna be redoing that and having to work down the chrome and paint match that. What I don't want is for the whole bumper to look really good when it's done. And then you look back in here and you see these fog lights that are like all foggy, chipped, you know, not in the best of shape. And then they're just an eyesore and they don't look good and they don't match anything. So with the black wheel set up, the smoked out kind of like headlight housing look and with some of the other lighting upgrades we're doing to the truck, I think the fog lights should get done as well. So we're gonna take these fog lights and hopefully they come out real nice and easy and we can put this new set in here. Let me show you what we actually went with. These are actually like an LED, like projector style fog light, but they're supposed to be plug and play for trucks that already had fog lights from the factory. And so here's the new fog light setup that will hopefully mount up easily in this truck. And those dudes would look a hundred times better. I mean, they're gonna look so much better they've got like the led jewels in there and they're supposedly super super bright i read through a couple hundred reviews like i didn't read all of them but i read through some of the reviews and there was a couple hundred of them and people were saying that these things are freaking bright and they're awesome and they've got like a black housing so it'll kind of be like this nice white bumper with a with a nice smoky black housing with the clear bulbs themselves which will pretty nicely match the black housing for the headlights with the chrome uh, lights themselves, like the clear chrome, which is kind of like what that'll match up. So it'll be kind of nice. So we're gonna get to removing the old ones here and getting the new ones put in and hopefully it turns out really nice. So we got the new fog lights in. They look so much better, nice and clean. Black housing, jewel LEDs. Looks freaking awesome. But we do have a small complication, which sucks. There was no actual fog light wiring in the truck. And not only that, 
this doesn't even have the fog light like dial that you know like you can flip it and pull it out uh and it turns on your fog lights it doesn't even have that in here it just doesn't have the fog lights so here's what i'm thinking about doing you guys can let me know what you think you guys can let me know if you think this is a horrible idea not do it should i do it you know whatever but there was some like old wiring stuck to the bumper but it didn't even look like factory wiring like so i'm thinking i'm just gonna like pull all that wiring out because it's freaking ugly it's it's like zip tied to the back of the bumper so i think i'm gonna pull all that wiring out and then redo it i'm going to be probably just ripping off all the wiring that's zip tied to the back of the bumper that goes up connected to the batteries and then it, it doesn't like go anywhere so it kind of seems like it's old wiring for somebody that had the fog lights wired up it just never got rewired up i think i'm actually just gonna buy a wiring harness i might be able to pick one up either at like an auto zone somewhere close by i could probably get away with finding something there and then just wire up the fog lights to a switch like a little toggle switch and then i'll have that as an option but before i do that do you guys want me to put a light bar in the gap down there or just leave it empty and only use the fog lights for extra accessory lighting because if you did want me to do that, I can get like a three-way harness. So that way I can just hook up like a light bar to the two pods and just have them all on like one switch. So you could flip a switch and just have like a ton of extra LED lighting down low if you wanted it. If not, you know, whatever. But for now, since there's no fog light actual switch in the truck, I think I'm just going to go to like an auto zone and buy a wiring harness, pull the old wiring off the back of the bumper that was just left on there from an old project and then just wire these up properly on a switch so you can actually use these fog lights. So we got the wiring harness pulled out and here it is. It's this crazy long homemade something or another. I mean, this is just a crazy amount of wiring none of this was needed under the hood this was all just like zip tied back behind the bumper here ran up through here and in the engine bay just like all a mess and it all just i just undid it all it wasn't going really to anything that's nice to have out of there since it's legitimately useless but now we got to pull this out of the shop and now we're going to do a couple of small things on rosine probably wondering what could we possibly be working on with rosine i think it's time that most of the frame gets recoated with something to a help protect it a little bit and b help it look a little bit better uh, this is just some rust-oleum flat protective enamel uh, it's it's supposed to help with like slowing down small surface rust and stuff like that and also just you know coating your frame or metal or just stuff in general to try to keep the weather from getting to it to slow the process down with oxidation and stuff like that which is you know the starts of rust um, and with rosine her frame is pretty darn clean this truck does not have a single rust hole anywhere on it in terms of the frame it doesn't have any damaging um, deep flaky like corrosive rust and the worst of it i think is right there and i think that's because rosine at one point i think she used to be a flatbed truck and it might you know i mean it kind of sounds a little bit like eh, i don't think so well it does have these metal brackets there and there where rosine 
at one point had something welded on there and i don't know if it was like some kind of a homemade fifth wheel which could have been what that was or brackets for where the cross members were on a flatbed that were actually welded to the frame at some point so i don't know there's a lot that it that it could have been but i mean i don't know i mean it's got the same things obviously on this side welded on the frame so i don't know but that's not really the point the point is other than that uh bracket here which wasn't even actually part of the truck that's probably the rustiest part of the whole frame is a piece of steel that wasn't actually part of the actual frame that's what this stuff is for and this isn't gonna like this isn't like a frame off restoration type of thing like if you're gonna do that obviously then this isn't what you're gonna be using you're gonna be using something that's like super super toxic and like very ultra prohibiting of rust ever forming again like a chassis saver or something like that Th that's not what this is this is something that like if she wants to do a frame off at some point and she wants to have that frame you know buff down you know all the teeny tiny spots of rust that are starting completely work down and then have the whole thing completely redone to where it's like literally a reflective finish like it's so restored she can still do that this stuff isn't gonna like damage the coating on the frame to where then you can't do that if you still want to now if you do like chassis saver or something and you just start like you know putting putting it on in all random spots you don't actually take the bed off and get everything or what you just kind of like trying to coat something up just to make it look good if you're just trying to coat something up to look kind of good don't don't use chassis saver if you're just trying to get what you can reach because then if somebody does actually ever want to take the bed off or the cab off and redo stuff that stuff is very hard to get off if it's done wrong this stuff doesn't really change much of anything it's just a flat protective enamel uh, you can always go back and do it a different way if you want but for now this is going to make it look a ton better and i'm going to show you what i'm doing under the front end first and then we'll do a little bit under the bed like on the frame mask off whatever you don't want overspray on but for the most part if you happen to get a little bit of overspray on something underneath the truck it's not going to hurt anything it's not the end of the world it's just flat black stuff it's not like it's going to damage the truck or the finish underneath like it's not that big of a deal but let's get to it and get to coating this up and i'll show you a little before and after and it's, i think it'll look pretty good so here's under the front end now the front end was painted the front axle was painted before it was installed and it's already got new oxidation starting on it but for the most part remember the videos of reagan actually coating this she had it all coated and it looked very very good when it was first reinstalled on the truck because this axle of course is not the original axle for the truck her other one had some damage so we had to get a different one it's already starting to uh, come back with a little bit of rust which sucks but it's not that big of a deal it can be refinished over time and kept nice so we're gonna try to mask off the coils and whatever else we do not want to get any kind of overspray on and then uh give it a light coat and see how it looks well there's the final product we didn't take the tape off yet it's still just finishing up its drying process might need to do another coat once we get back i actually got to take this truck though to the property and haul the trailer over right now but that's pretty much all it does it's just a flat black protective enamel gives it almost like a like new finish again in those little tiny run spots where i got a little bit too close for a second but with one more coat it'll probably take care of most of those and you'll probably they'll fade out enough to where you probably wouldn't even ever see them but that's all it is it doesn't hurt anything just gives it a nice coating i did also do the back side of that so you can see that as well so it looks good front and back and very soon starts the giveaway for this truck it actually is going to start on june 23rd at midnight which is essentially tonight this tuesday at 11 59 p.m starts the giveaway for this truck 2005 five nine cummins plus five thousand dollars about to drop it off tomorrow for paint matching work and some small paint flaw fixes but other than that 
it's just about good to go. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff on Rosine here very soon. I'm gonna kind of make it like a small long-term project on the channel and kind of do some things to it here and there. Everything from differential covers and fluids all the way up to, you know, some more of the suspension stuff we're gonna work out and wheels and tires and all that stuff. We might even get under the hood with this one as well and just kind of make it more of what, you know, Reagan really wants and kind of make it more of a long-term project and like a project that we build a little bit of history with because I know how much you guys really like that with the old videos we used to do. Uh, you know, one truck and we do it for several months on end before you ever saw it leave or leave the content picture of things, you know, like Nasty Red. It'll be fun. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.